What's up guys, good morning and welcome to Supercars of London in Barbados. I don't think I'm ever going to get used to saying that. I woke up at about 4 o'clock in the morning because we're 5 hours behind the UK time. My body clock is still on the UK time regardless of what time I went to bed. So I was up at 4am and I actually edited yesterday's video and I'm testing the internet for the first time and it is saying about 45 minutes till upload. So the internet speed is pretty good and uh, we have got a beautiful view to kick things off in the morning. Today is day one of the Festival of Speed. There is gonna be a press conference at 2 p.m. Today, Lewis Hamilton arrives on the island. Sam is probably very, very excited, jumping around on his bed in his bedroom. And um, I'm very excited as well because it would be pretty awesome to meet Lewis Hamilton. I mean, he's just such a cool guy, got a wicked car collection and does one of the best jobs in the world. So, so, with that being said, let's go and grab some breakfast. I'm starving, so let's get prepared for the day. It is time to knock for Sam. I'm starving, let's get some breakfast. Morning. Good morning. 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 How you doing? Good, hungry? Yeah, breakfast is essential. Did you see Lewis Hamilton's Snapchat? He has made it. Mate, move on, it's not that exciting. It is. I'm not that bothered. You're yeah, so much more keen than me. <laughs> hmm. Two full Englishes in a row. Mmm. And what have you gone for? Mmm. Yogurt. <laughs> Yogurt and granola. Breakfast has been completed and the gang is going down to the beach. Sam's wearing carpets on his feet. And we're going for a walk along the beach. We were told last night that there are cat sized monkeys living in and around the resort and on the island. So my aim for today is not only go to the Festival of Speed, but to catch a monkey. There's a sign for please don't feed the monkeys. We're coming up to the Hilton Hotel. Do you reckon Lewis is in there? But so that you can get excited about potentially seeing him, I think there is a chance, just from my uncaring knowledge of his movements. I know on Snapchat he arrived last night. The time is about nine o'clock and I've never ever been this close to the equator. I'm not cut out for this. I need some sort of in-body ventilation system, air conditioning unit hovering me everywhere that I go. But that blue sea over there looks unbelievable. I remember when I was about seven or eight, possibly younger. Oh, take me back. Taking my first swimming lessons in a 25 meter pool, back streets of Watford probably, and then there's kids out there having their swimming lessons. Like that. Okay, right, Bushy Park. 22 kilometers to go. Well, here we go, we are en route to Bushy Park for day one of Festival of Speed, which is pretty much gonna be a press conference, potentially some dress rehearsals from some of the race teams and other vehicles that are gonna be there. Who knows whether Lewis Hamilton is gonna be there? Probably Sam. Oh, there's the wind windscreen wipers. I do know he's gonna be there. <laughs> I'm not excited though, that's a pool, it's really exciting. The windscreen wipers are um, in the place where indicators are supposed to be on English cars. Exit the roundabout. It's loud. What a fantastic review. Continue straight. <laughs> I was about to Such say, great insight into the car. I was about to say that the Hyundai Tuscan Ario is right hand drive and we're driving on the left which is very familiar for me uh, as it is the UK driving style. It's quite comfortable. Got all of the modern technologies here. We've got Barbados radio station on. It's smooth, it's comfortable, a little bit of playing a steering wheel. But it, oh, look at that, did you see that? Ooh. It's like a Defender pickup truck thing. There's some cool cars out here, but hopefully there's gonna be some cooler ones at the uh, festival speed, so let's go. It feels like it looks like South Africa. <laughs> I 
I've never been. It's, like, it's what you think South Africa is like. This is what I think South Africa is like on safari. <laughs> Where the light? Hopefully you guys can hear me. It's a little bit windy out here. As you can see, there is not much to block the wind, but we have arrived at Bush Park in the Hyundai Tuscanario, which is my new word for it, similar to the Lamborghini Centenario. And there's some pretty cool cars here. We've got Subaru um, there, but this is what it's all about. The Ford Focus RS in what looks to me like it is pearl lime green. We've got an SLK there, which looks quite cool. Maybe that's what Lewis Hamilton has come in. Check this out. This looks so good in the sun. Into Bushy Park for the first time ever. And these cars over there look pretty crazy. I'm sure they're fast. It wasn't so long ago that I spent some time on a World Rallycross car and that thing was stupidly fast for the size of the car. So, I'm sure they're pretty quick themselves. Something I'm definitely not used to filming and what me and Sam have experienced so far is it is incredibly windy so we're gonna have to do our best to protect the audio so that you guys can hear some of the engines that these cars are probably packing underneath the hood. <laughs> it's loud. <laughs> So we're now on ground level walking around the pits. The Radical is out on the track. And after that press briefing, I've been probably been given a bit better idea of what is going on. And I tell you what, the one thing that I'm looking forward to seeing and filming, and probably the last thing that I was expected to get excited about is the banger racing behind, because it's not just about who wins the race. It is also about the style of your driving and the amount of crashes and the people that you can knock out. So all of the cars behind me are gonna get pretty smashed up. But let's check out these monster trucks because they are absolutely massive. Look at it, it's just so relaxed and chilled. now on the east coast of the Barbados island and it is absolutely stunning it is a lot more rocky than where we were this morning this morning we were on the west coast and it was a lot more chilled out than here this is surfers territory and Ned who I jokingly said was a professional surfer yesterday on on the camera when he when I first introduced him to the vlog I'm not sure how good he is at surfing, but we're about to find out because he has just gone out with one of the uh, Bayesian surf instructors. So I'm, I'm thinking he's pretty crazy because underneath this water, it is all coral. And that is a massive rock there in the middle of the water. And out there is Ned and the instructor. So I'm going to use the zoom on this camera and hopefully captures Ned riding some waves and potentially falling in. So let's see how they go. 